Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So this meme on the side of me is unironically the theme of today's video. A group of French feminists are trying to deplatform a legendary manga artist, and they're doing this by passing out digital and physical flyers that contain a whole slew of racist and slanderous comments about that manga artist. Now, how did we get here? Well, currently, Japan Expo is taking place in Paris, France. This is a very big event, and among the hosted guests is the legendary manga artist Ken Akumatsu. He is responsible for titles like Love Hina. He is very, very well respected in both the anime and manga communities in Japan, as well as internationally. He holds the privilege of being the first manga artist to hold a position in the Japanese government. And he is very well respected because he is a huge advocate for artistic freedom. He supports all forms of free artistic freedom when it comes to fictional content, and he is a huge advocate for these things. However, he has found himself in an unfortunate situation and the target of French feminists that are attacking his position at this expo in Paris, France. Now, you don't need to speak French to understand or come to the prediction that this right here is going to be filled with a lot of slander and racism. So when you translate this tweet that has over 4,000 likes, by the way, it says, Yo, tomorrow, Japan Expo invites Ken Akumatsu, a mangaka and far-right pro-pedo porn deputy from whom feminism is a dangerous ideology imported from the West. So we printed lots of leaflets if you want to print them out too, the PDF is below. So yes, this feminist and other feminists from France are attempting to pass out digital flyers attacking Ken Akumatsu to try to deplatform him and force Japan Expo to drop him from their lineup. And as you can see, this is a copy of the PDF. It is absolutely deranged. Besides the obvious slander and racism, imagine walking down the streets of Paris and some wackadoo hands you this flyer and it has no proof of any claim that is contained within it. So luckily for us, we had a couple of translators provide some translations of this flyer and it gives us an even more insane look at these people. So let's start from the top. There's also some good translator notes in here that'll help us guide through this crazy flyer. So it begins with far right extremists, the guests of honor at Japan Expo, this year again, Ken Akumatsu has been invited at Japan Expo. You may know him as the author of Nagima or Love Hina, but as of last year, he became a member of the LDP political party, in quotes, the largest far-right organization in Japan, according to Wikipedia. And as pointed out by the translator, this is not found on Wikipedia. It says nothing about this language of being the largest far-right organization in Japan. They simply made that up much like all the other claims they make in this flyer. But going on from there, it says he started his political career about 10 years ago with one objective in mind, to speak against laws aiming to regulate CP. Of course, they're not talking about real CP. They're talking about drawings because Ken Akumatsu is an unashamed, proud advocate for freedom of expression. And he always fights against censorship in fictional works. This has nothing to do with real CP. And of course, this person is trying to characterize it as Ken defending actual CP when we're talking about drawings. They're doing this to be disingenuous, and that's pretty unsurprising. But going on here, so ever since Akumatsu keeps getting closer to the far right, deeply anti-feminist ideology of the LDP, and he became a figurehead for this dangerous reactionary party. As pointed out, no citation. No example of this, just a blanketed statement. But going on from this, many of us grew up with Akumatsu's works and are attracted or attached to them. It's not wrong to like Love Hina or Nagima, which is insane because you're literally slandering this man or the fact he created those, but it's okay to consume them? That's very strange. But it goes on to say, however, we need to face reality. Yeah, now we need to face reality, right? As an internationally recognized author, he's able to spread his reactionary ideas with ease in Japan. That seems a bit racist. You're basically calling them stupid. But nonetheless, we also cannot ignore 
how accepted CP is in a large part of the manga industry as proven by the wave of support raised in favor of Nobuhiro Watsuki and who owned unfathomably large quantities of CP involving minors. Now, again, pretty racist to basically sum up the entire manga industry as pro-CP, but they're using Nobuhiro Watsuki as an example of this normalization of CP in the manga industry, which is insane, because they're attaching it to Ken Akumatsu, who has nothing to do with this man. Yes, this author, uh, Nobuhiro Watsuki, was exposed for having CP, and some members of the industry, like uh, Oda, the creator of One Piece, have remained associates of him. That's wrong. But what does Ken Akumatsu have to do with anything? Literally no attachment to the story and it's just used to drag down Ken for absolutely no reason. But they're saying that by inviting Akumatsu once again and increasing his popularity as an author, Japan Expo is complicit in giving him more support that he'll use to push his backwards and outdated ideas in Japan. This is about solidarity with Japan Solidarity with every individual whose rights are being threatened by far-right ideology. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, far-right ideology is when you are advocating for freedom of expression. Yes. But this is how they close the flyer, and this is the most insane part. So it says, do not attend events where Ken Akamatsu is accepted. Challenge his ideas. Challenge Japan Expo staff. And they bullet off like the, the, the finale here, saying... He's pro, he's a pro CP supporter. No proof of that. He's a far right extremist. No proof of that. He's anti feminist. No proof of that. And that's how they end it. Absolutely insane. Just paragraphs of slander, baselessly made, with no evidence to support any of it. Well, as a lot of people started to do, they looked at this feminist who made this flyer and started to poke around and see that, yes. Maybe they're a bit of a hypocrite when it comes to these subjects because there is screenshots floating around of this same user at one point defending the Netflix film Cuties. Now, if you don't know what Cuties is, God bless your soul. But to inform you and to remind people, Cuties was a Netflix film made a few years ago where essentially the plot is a twerking competition featuring middle school aged girls, not drawings, real children and in the process of auditioning auditions and filming this movie hundreds of children were sexualized and put into sexual situations in the process of filming it is by many 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 people including myself considered cp because at the end of the day regardless of the plot or the movie's message it contains sexualized middle school age children there's no justification for doing that and unfortunately, this user is an apologist for this film and claims that, well, there was an important lesson to be learned here and somehow makes this about Catholics. But it says that this whole thing denounces sexualization of young girls. Yes, the film Cuties denounces the sexualization of young girls by sexualizing real young girls. Please, make it make sense. I don't care how good the message in the end might be. It is not worth sexualizing a single child in the process, let alone hundreds. But yes, here's another little fact that might be relevant or interesting to you guys. Uh, take a guess as to what country Cuties was filmed in. France. Is it starting to connect now that there's a whole lot of hypocrisy in these conversations here? But moving on, here's the profile of this feminist. Of course, uh, we're talking about Ken and canceling him by saying that he is an anti-feminist and that he has all these backwards ideas about women when this person has men-hater in their bio. But that's okay. But you're going to cancel and try to deplatform someone else for made-up headcanon that they're anti-feminist. Glaring hypocrisy as usual. But going off of more hypocrisy, uh, they're a cosplayer. And guess what their feature, their main feature of all their cosplays is? Genshin Impact. Yep, the most self-aware Genshin Impact enthusiast who cancels other people over drawings. So in case this person needs a reminder, this tourist needs a reminder, 
This is the game you have based your entire personality on. I remember when that branch only had two lollies sitting on it. Now it's overflowing because despite what people say on Twitter, Genshin Impact fans, at least the ones spending money on the game, really like the lolly characters. And right in the source code of the game itself, they are considered lollies, okay? That franchise is not afraid of this topic. It's a franchise that you clearly support. And even the staff for MiHoYo and Genshin Impact don't care about anything to do with fictional characters. So if you support this franchise, you have zero self-awareness, especially when you're going out and trying to cancel other people over fictional works and their opinion about fictional works. But nonetheless, I'm going to end here because this kind of sums up this whole situation. It is incredibly ironic that a lot of French feminists and also French aunties are so gung-ho about canceling people like Ken Akamatsu over drawings, but are completely complicit or even support the sexualization of real children in other forms of media. I mean, it's not just people like this feminist, it's all the way through the government, where also France once only a few years ago, famously shut down Enhentai because they claimed it contained CP, which of course, that CP was fictional characters. But I think that's where we're going to end this video. Another reminder that Ken Akamatsu is a great ally in the fight against censorship. And unfortunately, he's found himself slandered and defamed once again. But it looks like the people at the events don't care and things are carrying on as they should. But that's going to do it for this video. Please share all of your thoughts about today's topic in the comments section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.